みなもむむぬぬみなもむむむむみなみみなみなみみなもむみなもむむなもむむなもむむなもむむなもむむしい。Ended up worse than where we started. Now, I spent the best part of a few hours yesterday going through all the comments in all of the videos, taking all of your suggestions, your feedback, your changes, and having an hour long conversation with the people in the video discussion channel on Discord, taking all of their feedback too. Things they would change about the series, the storytelling style, and more importantly, the actual mod pack itself. This isn't just a series. This is something you could play along with at home. Now, to clarify, I was enjoying last series a lot. I, I enjoy that. I enjoy the Doom world. I enjoy the persevering. But I also very much appreciate it doesn't make the best storytelling experience. People get attached to particular characters, and when those characters die due to. <laughs> Bullshit reasons, let's be honest. It'd be a little frustrating. However, I'm going to make you an official Mr. Streamer promise right now that by the end of this episode, we will be far beyond where we were in all of those previous episodes combined. We will make far more progress ever, and there are a few things I have done to make this happen. So, the first big thing a big thematic and mechanic changes to the idea legend that I think just make a lot of sense. We have psychic focus, aristocratic nationalist, and xenophobia rather than psychic focus, Bushido. Supremacist and Bulwark, which were less sensible. I added those last means for difficulty. We don't need difficulty. We really, really don't need difficulty. Aristocratic, I thought made perfect sense because it's an empire. It's literally ruled by an emperor and a ruling class. Nationalists, I added because in base game Rimworld, they don't have any alien races. That's not how it works. Plus, it's a nice excuse to kill cat girls. And xenophobia is a nice excuse to kill cat girls. <laughs> Now, I don't know about you all, but I thought it was way too convenient in Slush's dream that a husband and wife combo saved the colony. That would never happen. That's ridiculous. And why would Slush have dreamt about such things if they weren't his accompanying bodyguards? Wow, it's a v i l i u s and Guardian Easter. And they are the same Guardian Easter and a v i l i u s from Slush's dream, except they're alive. They have very similar skills, but with a few things that complement the missing skills that we didn't have. Not to mention they are still, they're still married. They're identical. And then our main characters, our three top dogs, Slush, Maxima, and Flavius, have their own changes as well. Slush forgot that he had Word of Trust, something that will allow us to replenish our troops a little faster, as the Empire does in the base game. Maxima remembered that she is actually far better at combat than she first realized, given that she was getting absolutely bodied by Umpalumpus. So she also has Brawler, which makes her much more likely to behead them instantly. And Flavius is more or less just the same Flavius, except now he loves animals. He is a giant. Murderous cataphract capable of ripping the heads off of his enemies, but he loves puppies. He's got a soft side. Oh, and it's probably worth mentioning we are still playing with Igor Invader. Igor Invader is literally a cataphract. It makes sense for an Imperial training program that we would use an Imperial cataphract to do that. But beyond the character changes, the idea legend changes, the scenario changes, and the storyteller changes, there have been a few other thematic and mechanically appropriate changes suggested by you. The people. Lots of people suggested making Rim Deed cheaper to represent Imperial factions being able to instantly replenish their troops if you were to attack the base and then leave and then come back. We have more frequent traders, and more importantly, we can call in traders, given that the Empire in the base game can send you quests, offering to buy, I don't know, 57 human leather sofas. That'll happen quite frequently. So why can't we do that? Well, we can, because we're the Empire. We can do what we like. Oh, and there's no semi random research either. No, I forgot to mention that. And of course, if you would like to play along, I'll update all the configs of the scenario of the Snipe Father save game and everything else you will need down in the comment section below. Wow, let's get started. Remember what I used to talk fast in all my videos and then people asked me to slow down because they couldn't understand me too? We got a lot more done though, didn't we? And speaking of getting a lot done, we're going to start as we mean to go on. We are going to begin by building Slush that mighty palace. We're not going to start with a crappy barracks and then try and move it and then build a building, but then move that over too. We're going to start big. And we're gonna start with the important character, Little Slush himself. But when I say big, I don't mean like we're gonna 
we're gonna go ridiculous. Like, like last time it was a little bit too ridiculous. This time we're gonna start a bit more sensible, but get a lot done. And now because we have people of complementary skill sets, we haven't gotta worry about our bestower or our defenders doing all the boring old stuff that you really wouldn't expect them to do normally. Just doesn't seem very befitting of a bestower, in my opinion, to have them crawling around on the floor mining or hauling items. You didn't believe me, did you? You didn't believe I could do it. Here it is. One lovely, one lovely little mansion. That'll eventually just belong to Slush, but for the time being, we've tacked on a little barracks into that room up there. We'll turn that into a research room eventually. Don't worry. You see, already in the first 10 minutes of this video, I've made more progress on districts than I did in the past, what, like six episodes? <laughs> turns out things are significantly easier when you don't have one builder. Turns out, turns out things go a little faster, huh? And on the subject of one builder, let's get our permits going. You can get me steel components, advanced components. Let's bring the assassins back. People were so angry I didn't use the assassins decently last time. Let's get that laborer gang. Let's get some janissaries, some glissomed. Uh, I, I really just need the help. I just need a lot of help. Why can't we take those? You need to be count or countess. Oh, cool. Uh, silver. And you know what? Food will let us really push this early. So I'm fairly happy with that one. Little Maxima, what permits have you got, my friend? How about, uh, more troopers? Those are always quite nice. Oh, you're quite limited in what we can take. Okay, components, steel, uh, food, laborers again. I feel like we always really should take laborers. And then a strike for, a, for an emergency strike. And then I want the same thing from you, my good friend, Flavius. And there we have it. Excellent. Let's get those laborers in just, like, immediately. Let's get one group of laborers in immediately. We don't need all of them. I'd rather have four laborers over a month than eight laborers over the course of a few days when there isn't really that much work right now. And that right there to me sounds like some combat music. Maxima, Flavius, Guardian Easter and Avilius too. Wow. It's so weird not just drafting up two people. Slush, immediately run and hide. Immediately run and hide. You are no longer going on the front lines, my friend. Oh, there's so many! Why are there so many? I mean, there are lots of them, but they're, they're all just regular, regular people, right? Yeah, they're just regular people, not compressed. Regular, plain old battle hippies. Nothing to worry about. They're fighting an elite squad of Imperial soldiers. This is how it should be. Join us. You would do the first blood has been shed on the Meditation Grove. And of course, we'll get all of our supplies dropped down as well, seeing as they're on cooldown. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's enough to build a fabrication bench, which I plan on getting done very soon, <laughs> given that that was a bit of a limiting factor last time. What? Laborer died. How did the laborer die? Was there something hiding in that hedge that killed our guy? Wait, combat music? If so, that was the most impressive sneaky raid I've ever seen. What killed him? I don't understand. Reinforcement from Bucko's Pirates. But those pirates have stuck in and killed my laborers! And it's actually the biggest brain thing I've ever seen. How did you die? Your heart, you were stabbed in the heart by a friggin' pirate. <laughs> There's no combat music, there was no indication, there was nothing! Oh, well that's gonna... That's gonna keep me on my toes a little more. Oh, where are they? Pickle! Friggin' pickle! Maxima. Nice, good kill, good kill, good kill. Where are these reinforcements? Slush, hang back. Slush, hang back. You know what? Slush, go hide. Oh, I would send him to go hide, but we don't know where the pirates are hiding in the trees. This seems like a job for Inspector Chicken. Are they all dead? I think they're all dead. Flavius, Maxima, escort the bestower. We're gonna have Guardian Easter and Avilius just secure the perimeter here. You three, get that bestower to bed. Get them home. Just gonna have to manually, manually march the bestower back in case he's stabbed by a friggin' hedge pirate right through the heart. Don't let that let them go ahead. Let them go ahead and scope it out. Are we safe? Okay, I think we're safe. You you stay there. Just keep them defended. Slush, you go get, go get yourself a little nap. I think they're, they've all got to be gone at this point, right? You think we're safe? I think we're probably safe. That's actually mad that they dove out of the hedge and assassinated one of our people like that. No combat music, no indication, no nothing. This is Inspector Chicken time. That might be the coolest thing. That's ever happened in Rimworld. <laughs> I'm going to throw up a quick structure for our laborers. Because we're going to be calling in laborers pretty much all the time, right? Over here is where I'm going to throw down the elite quarters for Maxima and Flavius. I feel like they deserve something nicer. Maybe I'll build a separate little building for Guardian Easter and Avilius as well. They are only troopers, though. Oh, there go the first group of laborers. Thank you, team. Uh, honestly, we've, we've achieved already way more than anything we've done in the previous episodes. Same difficulty, just to clarify. Except now silent raids work, so it's technically kind of harder. Winston Wave's obviously being a little more easier to predict. I also got a full night's sleep, which is rare. I mean, that's basically just... I mean, that's basically just putting the game on easy mode, isn't it? <laughs> what happened to the other laborer, you ask? De uh, I, mean, I mean, it wasn't my fault. They were assassinated by hedge pirates. I can't be blamed for that. 
We've got Inspector Chickens on the places that matter. And that is the entrance to our big wooden base. Not a big fan of the big wooden base, to be honest with you. I mean, it looks fantastic. Obviously not ideal. We'll replace it all with marble blocks or limestone, which is what we actually have on this map. The same map as last time, by the way. Probably should mention that. Slush dreamt about it because Slush read the blueprints. He read the Imperial report showing where his base was going to be built. And he was, he was imagining it in his mind as he slept. He's a good guy. Look at the moods. Look at their moods. And they're increasing. This is fantastic. Until they start getting defeated. And they're obviously upset because they're doing dumb labor and have alien slaves and whatnot. What's up with you? Imperial style ceramics. That's good. Renaltic staff. He's very happy about that. Such a noble weapon. Not that being defeated in combat really has helped um, wonders. Really did. I, did, I, I accidentally built a uh, fine steel floor there. I thought for laborers, they didn't really deserve that. <laughs> that's my bad. Hey, join us. And that's all of the major tasks done. Now, one thing I'm also doing that I feel like is a massive improvement over last time is I'm not queuing up multiple buildings, multiple giant walls, multiple structures. We're focusing on, get this if you can believe it, one task at a time. Wow. Oh, the power of a full night's sleep. This is, this is ludicrous. I feel like m my brain worked good now. Even. <laughs> <laughs> My brain do good work. Oh, a party in the bestower's dark bedroom. I don't think I want to see what's going on behind all those text boxes. <laughs> An imperial party, of course, when you are a bestower, even for the laborers, is going to win him a lot of points in the next Senate election. Slush is playing a clever game here. He's manipulating the people to believe that he is far more competent than he actually is. What do you mean Slush is a self-insert? How dare you? How dare you suggest that I'm competent? <laughs> Let's stop planning ourselves our little imperial workshop here. I want enough room to store our resources, which will be what this, this kind of bat room area is for. And then we'll throw down a bunch of art stations and stone cutting stations in here. Really, the stone cutting station should be on the outer ring, beyond even this one where we'll have the kind of servant labor, the slave labor, whoever we recruit do that. Guardian Easter, did you just ask the bestower what's popping? Terribly inappropriate behavior. You wouldn't ask the friggin' queen what's popping. Guardian Easter. I mean, you wouldn't need to because she's, she's like ancient. It's probably a hip. She's basically mummified at this stage. Look at that. These laborers are fantastic. Blink. What are you shooting at? Shooting at archery. Shooting at archery. Uh, Slush, my brother in Christ. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to tell the bestower his business here, but uh, Christ, that is ambitious. Freaking William Tell over here. What, you think you're going to fire it off and then the wind's going to catch it and you're going to get a bullseye? I think you need to go to bed, big man. I think you've had one too many sweeties. That right there. That right there is combat music. Well, I mean, thank God Inquisitor Slosh got all that archery practice in, huh? People of this mighty empire. Draft up. Let's see what we've got. Inspector Chicken. Inspector Chicken has done his job. A legendary man. Uh, let's get Flavius there. Guardian Easter there. No, no, no. Flavius has quite a long-range weapon. You can, you can take cover behind the Holy Imperial Shrine. It's okay. It's okay. The bestower will let you off, I'm sure. He'll pardon you. Even though we do have public executions with the commissar now, so I mean, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Hello! Oh, it was the Lumpers, everybody! It's the Lumpers. It complimented our power armor suit to the one person who doesn't have power armor. Weird little Lumpers. Please leave. Please don't hurt my people. We are playing on Eager Invader, so everything does double damage, and that does mean that the Lumpers with their knives do double damage. Probably explains how the pirate was able to assassinate our laborer from a hedge. How you doing? Fine. Legendary. Actually, legendary behavior. We may also have our first little recruit. And by recruit, I mean, I mean, servant that we're certainly not going to pay. Where the hell am I going to put it? Um, we just build a, <laughs> just build a building around it. <laughs> Let's throw down like a little, just throw down like a little thing here. That'll do. Just like a little thing, you know? Nothing too complicated. Just a little, just a little thing. Just a little thing. You go patch him up. And then how are you guys doing? You take too much damage there? Wow, it's almost like giving our people flak armor might allow them to survive trivial injuries. I, I mean, it's unbelievable, I know. What? What the hell just happened? Oh my god, we tended him, he stood back up, and then Maxima immediately killed him, I assume. Yeah. Yeah, no, that does seem to be the case. You shit. Maxima sliced him in the left foot, and he... <laughs> he died. <laughs> Achilles the lumper there. <laughs> That's, I mean, that's brutal. I mean, it is an insulting spree, so I, I, I'll allow it. Now, of course, in the long term, the laborer barracks and any sort of prison slash whatever we use this building for, that won't be there forever. This is a necessary temporary evil. What we do need as the kind of final essential then is, is some sort of kitchen area, some sort of food preparation storage area. Remember how last series I said, I said I'm not going to build any more ridiculous over-the-top bases. You remember that? 
Remember when I said that? Bases that are all spread apart and focus on f f form over function. Remember when I said that? Yeah, that's not, that's not going to happen, is it? Well, I don't care what any of you think. I like the nice big bases that are well designed. It's the Empire. They're not going to have some shitty box room with divided up bedrooms. Come on. Would seem as if we have eaten all the food. You greedy, greedy boys. There's nothing left. Okay, well, let's maybe do a little do a little hunting. We'll do a little, little murder here and there. Maybe not the bestower. He's got a melee weapon anyway. Although, oh, I've manually take control of Maxima. It's fine. If there's one thing we learn about Maxima from Slush's dream, she loves caving in the heads of wild boar. It's a favorite hobby. But for the time being, let's just throw a stove in here because otherwise we're going <laughs> to... We're going to all starve. <laughs> right, animals that are safe to shoot. What have we got? Megasloth? Nope. Terror bird? Uh, no, Muffalo, I can I can eat those. Boomalo, everything's made of wood, so I won't be going for that one. Oh, wow. Really a slim pickings. What the hell is a Thoraxodon? Hello? A small carnivorous... Oh! Well, a similar size to a fox. Oh, I'll kill and eat that. That sounds delicious. Velociraptor, maybe not. Um, Flavius? You know when you hunt an animal, I actually want you to haul it back to... Back to base, right? Oh, he hasn't got anywhere to haul it. Oh, that's kind of big brain. Uh, next problem, Flavius won't butcher animals because he's a big softy. So instead, we'll have to get someone else. Is anyone else good at cooking? Ah, oh, Italus, my friend. You could not have come at a more perfect time. Otherwise, we'd have all starved to death. <laughs> Goodbye, little laborers. Thank you once again for your help in building this glorious land. And now, I'm going to do something really brave. I'm going to call in more laborers. <laughs> Look, everybody, it's Marcella, Severina, Carbo, and Dita. Carbo has given me uh, big What's Your Specs Bro vibes. What the hell is that noise? Wait, somebody punching my lamppost! Hey! These raids, these sneaky little shitty raiders. <laughs> Slush stay indoors. Um, right. Okay, Maxima, Slay, Flavius, bring you forward. You, just run. Just like run. Inspector Chicken, you didn't clock fast enough. Oh, oh, oh run, Severina. Oh, I'll send someone. I'll send someone. I'll send someone. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, kill them. Kill them, though. Uh, move back. Move back. Bait them, bait them over. Nice. Fantastic shot. Run behind Flavius. Run behind. My... Oh, genuine. <laughs> There's a mega sloth block in the way. What the fuck? Ah, Maxima. Maxima, give, give me a hand. Give me a hand. Give me a hand here. Come on. He's not, not a good. Sh you know what? Let's just run and gun. Let's just run and gun. Severina. Now that's an ash gorilla. I was thinking the same thing, Flavius. No, oh, right in the stomach. Yeah, finish him off though. It's very annoying that when they <laughs> when they kill an enemy, they don't continue moving on. Oh, you shit! Oh, and now we get reinforcements because they kill one of our people. God damn it! Get out of here! Go on, run away! Labors, <laughs> labors, labors! Put out the fire! Put out the fire though! Put out the fire fast! Maximum can deal with it. Oh, no friendly fire, please. There are probably more around then if they got reinforcements. Let's have Maxima do a quick, quick look around. Inspect chicken can see the ones over there. Oh, please put the fire out. Please put the fire out. Please put the fire out. There you are. Procla. Procla, die. You will fall to Maxima. Maxima, the great warrior. Come on. Come on. Maxima, the uh, very all right. Oh, nice work. There we go. Okay. And then finish them off. Kill them all. Look at the hair on that lady. I've never seen hair like that before. Kill her. Kill her now. Thank you, Inspector Chicken. Okay, I'm pretty confident that's probably it, right? No, it's not it at all. I shouldn't have been so confident. I remember what we said. Overconfident, something, something. They'll probably have to restart the series. I think that's how it goes anyway. <laughs> They've decided to kidnap who they can and leave. Carbo? How am I expected to keep it on two things at once? A naked man got the better of you? M uh, yeah, but like Maxima, though. You will like, stop him. Uh, it's a naked man carrying a, 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 another very large man. This is actually ridiculous. Oh, she's going to get on them now. Oh, she missed. Nice. There you go. Come on, Carbo. Sort it out. I'm just going to leave him there. <laughs> I mean, it really wouldn't be an Imperial Labor Squad if we didn't get one of them killed every raid, huh? Now, yeah, a lot of people asked this last time. The Empire natural goodwill with our faction is 100. So even though it drops down by like minus 13 when we get everybody killed, it will slowly go back to 100. The Emperor's just a little pissed that we're killing his laborers, which is understandable, really. There's no long-term problems with that unless we repeatedly get get them killed. Uh, so there very much may be long-term <laughs> problems with that. Shit. T with 10? Oh my god. So compressed raids, of course, aren't going to work with Igor Invader and their reinforcements. Oh, well, they work, but I mean, we'll be punished way more heavily than we normally would. Because if we get compressed reinforcements, that's going to be way more significant than it would be normally. Okay, so we have to be a little more careful. They work fine. They work perfectly. It's just we've got to be 
You gotta, you gotta think about these things, huh? Oh, my meat! What a waste. What a waste of killing all those poor sweet animals. What a waste. Just do them forever. Well, I mean, I would. <clears throat> Whenever you're ready. Did I like to, like to cut more meals? Thank you. Ah, my meat! Come on. You can get a few more meals out of that, right? You are the slowest person I've ever seen. Flavius, take over. Now, hang on, hang on. So Flavius won't butcher, but he'll hunt. Well, that's some shit, isn't it? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> they refuse to butcher. But you're all right just blowing him away with your charge blaster. How bizarre. What a strange man you are, Flavius. And an Imperial trader. Maybe they'd like to buy some wood, because I did go a little bit hard on digging all that up, I'll admit. Hopefully they have some steel. We've got it queued up, but of course it's going to take a little while to get that mined up. Why don't we get some people... Get some people just have it as their bottom job. You know what? Let's, let's put it above cleaning. So we need a bestower in waiting, and we need an Inquisitor. Okay. And then we need a temple. Oh, shit. Um... Well, we could put that over here. I was going to build the kitchen over here, but you know what? It would make more sense if we if we turned this zone into kind of the uh, the, the temple slash ritual room. I think that works quite well. That way, it all kind of feels kind of nicely interlinked too. So I'm all right with that. Uh, let's just throw down another big old another big old area for that. Will that work? Hold on, let me do the numbers. New lovers. Now, Slush did dream of him and Maximum becoming lovers, so maybe it has come true. You finally figured that out, huh? Genius. Who could it possibly be? It is Slush and Maxima. Wow, who could have predicted that? <laughs> it's almost like his uh, dream had some some sort of semblance of reality in it. Crazy. No! Inspector Chicken! You are. Oh, you'll pay for that. The Marcella is under attack. Marcella, run. Uh, Maxima, Flavius, Gardenista, Avilius, please help. How did you get right past Maxima? Maxima, you lazy shit. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Stop blasting. Stop blasting. Yes, save him. Save him. We're not going to lose anyone else. Die. Okay. Okay, do you think that's it, or do you think there's more? They wouldn't have just sent two people, right? Bucko drinks, bucko pirates. Okay, choke points, choke points. That's the whole reason we built the base like this. We've got we've got total control of everything now. Look at this. They want to get to slush, they've got to go through four of our elites. They're not they're not getting past. Are we done? Oh. Well, I guess that's that then. <laughs> A little bit of excitement. Wolf, are you any good? Master trader neurotic anxious. Mining seven single passion. Ah, uh... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna let Marcella get a little bit of, uh, I'm gonna let her get a little bit of revenge comp, because she's incapable of violence. That's a decorative knife. Oh no, there is definitely more! Bloody combat music, it's so distracting! <laughs> Where did she come from? <laughs> wow. Okay, we've learned a valuable lesson today, and this will be a lesson that I'm sure I'll forget by tomorrow, but, uh, don't trust the combat music. Just never trust, never trust the combat music. What the hell happened, Inspector Chicken? How are they getting through without me noticing? Maybe I'm just not noticing. That could make, make a lot of sense. Plants 14 double passion. They're actually called chicken. My god. And then underground apart. Oh, plants 12 double passion. Um. Right. Okay. Hear me out then. Let's flip this into a prison. The room I was building for, for a prison has been kind of uh, cannibalized by the temple there. Let's get you patched up. Hang on. Maxima Flavius. Can, can patch these people up? I mean, I mean, by the minimum, I have to save the one called chicken. That'd be ridiculous not to. Oh, no. Tend them. Tend them. Tend them. Oh, but we're tending them, then they're standing up, and then we're knocking them down again. That's not ideal, is it? Just patch up whatever you've just done there. There you go. We're fine, we're fine. Gotta, we gotta let them bleed out a little bit more before we start tending them. Get you two recruit as soon as possible, and then let's get Slush in there using Word of Trust. We'll have these people in no time. Reduce will on both, then we'll convert. What else do I want to build in this middle circle? I mean, we, we need a hospital, and then I think we'll also take a morgue as well. We'll replace this area eventually with all of the rice. We'll replace that with... Oh, hello there. We'll replace that with the hospital, but I do need some sort of crematorium. We've already filled up a mass grave, which is pretty impressive. Let's just throw down a little temporary one up here. Oh, that's fine. He hasn't got a see. Well, what the bestower doesn't know won't hurt him. But for that, we need stone cutting. And for that, we'll need more laborers. <laughs> hey, thanks for visiting. Come back soon. Oh, what do you mean the emperor's upset that these we've only returned three laborers again? <laughs> Let's call in the laborer gang. That's eight laborers this time. I'm a little bit concerned we might not be able to feed them all, but you know what? We'll manage. We'll get by. Guardian Easter's hard at work on the art, so that will deal with all of these expectations we've got going on here. Whenever we call on the laborers, because they're the same ideology as us, that means we've got so many people that we instantly need, like, the best relic room possible. Relic room? Ritual room. You know what I meant. 
Okay, you, you will understand what I mean. We missed the last Imperial trader because they were just out there hiding in the fog. But this time I'm actually going to send Slush to go and hunt it down. He should be safe enough to do that. And I mean, he is our bestower. He's the one that's supposed to do this. Uh, where are they? I know that we're not we're not supposed to peek through the fog with the notifications. I won't do it for raids, but I think with traders is acceptable. There are allies. We should know where they are. Right, let's sell them plenty of wood. <laughs> Because <laughs> I don't think we need that in a hurry. Um, cloth would be really nice just for building some. We'll, we'll grow our own eventually. But just for some recreation is fantastic. Um, what have you got here? Psychic reader. I mean, it's royalty. We're allowed it. Oh, man. That would actually be fantastic. Really, the smart thing to do here would be buy the psychic reader, install it in Slush, and then send him back to trade again. Because it would, you know, save us a little money here. Uh, learning assistant. Also fantastic. Stone skin gland. I mean, we could do with a couple of those. They're not allowed to have it unless the cat's right or higher, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, prestige cataphrag gear though. Ooh. I think we'll just stick with that. We can't really afford any of it, but the psychic reader eventually is going to be super, super nice. What the, f what the What are you wearing? You look like you're about to go on some sort of safari. By sending friggin' Nigel Thornbury over here to trade with us. That was a great insult. Or well, to be fair, maybe you wouldn't have sent Nigel Thornbury as a negotiator if we hadn't only sent back, <laughs> you know, like 75% of the people he'd send to us. <laughs> are you actually kidding? That music sting then is taking the piss. <laughs> Somebody may have left the door open. Somebody may have left the door open. I don't care if he needs tending. I need them capturing. Fine, we lost the other person, but we kept chicken, which I'm fine with because chicken's the one I actually wanted. But you see, I heard you coming that time. I don't need Inspector Chicken. Get to work, team. We put them in the middle here. We've got kind of line of sight through past Inspector Chicken anyway. Oh, there they are. Hello? Who is it? It's Anne. It's Anne's domain. Okay, uh, hide. Let's get... We, we need some more cover over here. That'll be something I definitely forget before it's relevant again, and then someone will die. And you know what? Don't blame it on the storyteller. Oh. Really? <laughs> we know they're not actually fleeing. They never flee. It says they're fleeing. They, they, they don't flee. Hello? Hello, little naked peasants. Welcome. Welcome. Who could be surprised that Anne's random brainwashed peasants can't stand up to, uh... You know, a slightly more organized Imperial military. I think we're going to be fine. We good? We'll give them a little bit longer. There's obviously a couple more hanging around there. What are they doing? They're lighting fire to my walls. Yeah, don't do that. Maxima, get in there. Put that fire out. Final one. Okay, that's got to be it. There's a maximum of six. That has to be it. Was that six? Are you feeling lucky? You punk? No, it was. It was six. You can count. Or oh, it says there, six. You don't, you don't need to feel lucky. You can, you can just count. You can just count. <laughs> Takes the tension away a little bit, doesn't it? And this is where I come to my own defense and I puff up my chest like a little sexy pigeon and I say to you all, this is basically the same difficulty we were on last time. There is one exception. There is one difference to where we were. Well, I mean, I've had a good night's sleep. Beyond that, there is one difference. The only thing having an impact here is aristocratic. They haven't been defeated. So even our uh, Bushido wouldn't have had any impact whatsoever. The aristocratic bonus is plus four mood and i'm i'm gonna be honest with you all i don't think plus four mood was the difference between this mighty city that we're in the process of building compared to the quite frankly shithole of a town we had before the changes i've made to the mob pack the changes to the storyteller all, all of these changes i mean sure we're not playing winston waves but even at this point how long have we been here for we've been here for 18 days winston wave sends one raid every what three days it wouldn't have ramped up. We fought the same amount of raids. It wouldn't have ramped up that far to catch us out. I, I think... What I'm saying is I think I, I think I might have just got good. That's what, that's what I'm getting at here. And I don't want people to be in the comments. Oh, well, he's only doing well because he's made all those changes to the mod pack. I haven't. This is what you're not getting. It's a change of mindset. It's big brain time. Wrinkly brains too. Somehow I have found that compromise between form and function. And my God, it looks good. It looks fantastic. I'm happy with it. Augusta, she would have never built a colony this good. This is all thanks to Slush. Pure, sweet, wonderful Slush. Who's happy to get his hands dirty because... Well, I mean, he wouldn't have anything else to do. Literally, he would just be sat there doing nothing. <laughs> this is the type of base the Emperor will be pleased with. And tomorrow, the Emperor will be even more pleased when we change it all to be built out of actual stone blocks rather than wood. We've got a very flammable base right now. So things are kind of on the knife edge a little bit. If we get a raid that turns up and decides, hey, rather than running past Inspector Chicken into a flurry of bullets, why don't we just burn it down? Then we got some problems. But until that time comes, Mr. Emperor, 
look across this mighty domain. If you have any feedback, my fellow consuls of this here empire, fellow chancellors and senators, please address them, care of Slush. Send a message to Slush, and if Slush thinks you've got to make a good point, if you're making some good ideas out there, so will listen. You know what really helped out this time? Not building everything out of stone blocks, like hauling limestone from the other side of the map in some desperate play to build up, you know, the base as, as fireproof as possible. That definitely helped out. I was trying to cut too many corners. I was, I was trying to ignore building the foundation, instead going right for something that was good, and that's where it fell apart. By getting these wood buildings down, by keeping the people happy and fed and healthy and with lots of bases and, and just a lovely time. They've all got these lovely bedrooms. Things are working a lot better. And you know what? They're going to carry on working like this tomorrow. Because I'm, I'm in. I'm into it. And hopefully, those of you who doubted me at the start of the episode, you're now saying, wow, actually, he had a fucking point. And maybe I should trust him more often. For all of you sadists out there, for all of you thinking to yourself, well, I prefer it when he suffered, there will be the same. It's the same difficulty. I don't know how many times I've got to say it. It was your Invader. It was the same. It, arguably, it could be harder because now it means peasants can potentially loop out the hedge and assassinate our people. Because they all do double damage. So I'd say it's probably about the same. There will still be difficulty. This is early days. About 15 of them, in fact. Thank you, as always, to the mighty patrons who have, who have given us this opportunity to experience such a, such a time. As a reminder, there is other content on other channels. We're currently playing through the adventures of Grigna the Barbarian over on my second channel in Fallout New Vegas, where we play as Grigna, the mighty barbarian. I have to do a stupid barbarian voice for an hour every day, and then it makes my voice hurt. Maybe I should do that after I do Rimworld in hindsight. That will make a lot more sense. And of course, T-Review will be returning for season five. I don't know. Very soon with a very special episode. Thank you in the meantime to those executive producer patrons, including Idoge, Ehi, Iwut, Usland, Cake Hardware, Manganese, Mega Oscar Pone, Tom Paj, Hascrack, Grim, Feraldus, Hotley, Grandma's Mustache Comb, Gogolus, Alluvion Mishap, Alex Warren, Incredible Gurren, Stephen Taylor, and Dordy Tweed. For that support, the executive producer tears over on Patreon. Thank you. Thank you for being here. The apologies about mispronouncing all of your names. That's just how this is going to happen. It's just, it's just going to be a mess. Thank you to Linus L, Edzuki, Gabby, Kirsten Zimmerly, Dreidel, James, Oliver Bitterling, Jake B, Kip Kennedy, Max Lanto, Noisy Koi, Sendy, JC2406, Rico's Roughneck, Morgan Little, Shirome Artiste, Marty Winterburn, Tim Standard, Dan does a thing, and Lila Logan. Remember, if you'd like to change your Patreon name or the shout you receive, you can do so on Patreon by clicking your Patreon profile and then just changing your name. It's, it literally takes two seconds. I'm actually kind of surprised it takes that much time. Seems like a system that could be very easily abused. But I'm not going to tell you that. Or am I? Bye.